This video is all about the pros and cons of living in Whitby, Ontario, so stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Rochelle Manguino. I'm the founder and creator of Living in Toronto. I am also a local real estate agent with EXP Realty right here in Whitby, Ontario. So if you're new to my channel, then welcome. I am here to let you know everything that you need to know about living, working, and even having fun in the greater Toronto area. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell as well so that you get notified every time I drop a new video. I do so every week where I give you guys all tips and strategies for purchasing or selling your next property. Anything that has to do with real estate in the greater Toronto area, I've got that for you. So let's get right into it. I'm about to drop the top three pros and cons of living in Whitby, Ontario. So today I'm gonna to give you everything that you need to know about moving to Whitby. Whether you're relocating for work, or you're raising your family, you're retiring here, or you're just looking for a change of scenery, then I'm gonna break it all down for you, the good, the bad, and the ugly, so that you have everything that you need to know before moving to Whitby. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna start with the pros of living in Whitby, starting with number one, which is that housing is affordable. So when I talk about affordable housing in Whitby, I'm talking in relative terms. I want to make that really clear because if anyone knows anything about affordability and housing in the greater Toronto area, you guys know that the GTA is very expensive. And so home prices in Whitby, which is part of the GTA, will also be expensive as well, but we want to look at it in relative terms. So Whitby compared to other areas is relatively less expensive than other areas areas in the GTA. So that's your number one pro. And now I want to talk about a little more about that in terms of the distance of Whitby from Toronto. So if you're looking at downtown Whitby to downtown Toronto, that's an easy 50 kilometer distance, which is about a 40 minute drive. But that also makes it very attractive for commuters who live in Whitby but want to commute to Toronto or need to commute to Toronto for work. It is a very affordable option because you still have that sort of slow paced suburban lifestyle where housing is less expensive than other areas in Toronto. You're still close to the city of Toronto, yet you get to benefit from affordable housing in Whitby. If you are one of those commuters who are traveling from Whitby to Toronto or vice versa, the best way and what a lot of the residents in Whitby are doing is they're taking the GO train because that avoids all of the traffic and congestion on the 401, the 401 being your main highway or direct access point from Whitby to Toronto. So despite its ideal location to Toronto, People are really flocking to Whitby to purchase real estate and the reason why is because you are so close to Toronto but you still have affordable housing options and that's the number one pro of living in Whitby is that you get to benefit from all of the city amenities but still remain you know, relatively less expensive in price in terms of your housing options. Now with that said, I do actually have a video right over here that you can check out that outlines all of the different neighborhoods or all of the more popular neighborhoods in Whitby. You get an idea of the different price points in today's market so that you get a good overall picture and actually a real street level view of what it's like to live in any given neighborhood inside Whitby, Ontario. All right, so my number two pro of living in Whitby, Ontario is that it is very, Family friendly. Whitby is a really, really safe city to live in. So according to areavibes.com, Whitby is actually 89% safer to live in than all other cities in Canada. So even despite Whitby's proximity to cities like Oshawa, so Oshawa is its neighboring city. They share a border and Oshawa is really known for having a high crime rate and I actually talk about about that in another video that I did about Oshawa, Ontario. But despite being really close to that city, the crime rate in Whitby is actually really extremely low. In fact, the city's average crime rate is actually 37% lower than the national average. 
So that's how safe this city is. So that being said, it is a really great place to live and even raise a family. Because when you talk about what's nearby and whatever neighborhood you live in in Whitby, you are going to be surrounded by tons of trails and recreational activities, parks and splash pads and all of that good stuff. But what I want to talk about next with you is actually the education system in Whitby because that just speaks to how family friendly and how safe Whitby is. So when it comes to safety and your kids specifically, Whitby has a great school system. The Fraser Institute, they do a whole bunch of studies about different schools and different areas and what schools are good and what aren't. So they actually ranked Whitby schools, they outranked Whitby schools compared to their counterparts in all other parts of Canada. So for example, Fallingbrook Public School, which is located in Whitby, was actually ranked by the Fraser Institute as one of their top 100 schools in Ontario. There are two school boards in Whitby. There's a Durham District School Board and then the Durham Catholic District School Board. So you have both options there. And in fact, the Durham District School Board headquarters are actually in Whitby, giving the local schools in the area a lot more oversight, making them even more safe. And if you are looking to send your children to private schools, then there is actually a very prominent boarding school called Father Castle, which is in Whitby. It is internationally recognized for having a really reputable university preparation program. So I don't even know where to begin, but I think I'm gonna start at uh, the Port Whitby Marina because that area is just magical and there's so much to do there because you're at the port. So you're along the shores of Lake Ontario. Whitby is a lakeside city and you get access to, there's a launch pad if you wanted to bring your boat. In the warmer months, golfers can go out and hit the links at a number of different courses in and around the town. Whitby is also home to the White Vale Golf Club, which is a world-class members only golf club. If your interests lie more in the slopes rather than the courses, then you'd be happy to know that Whitby has a lot of great skiing options available for you as well. You've got Ski Dagmar, which is located in Whitby. They have a 12 run hill, and they also have a really charming small little cozy cottage sort of chalet that you can warm up in as well. Now there's also Ski Lake Ridge, which is also a year-round facility. So you can do the skiing, snowboarding, tubing in the winter time, but in the summer months or when the weather is uh, you know, a little bit warmer, then you also have access to hiking trails, cycling trails. So no matter the weather, the season, winter, spring, summer, fall, Whitby has you covered when it comes to enjoying the outdoors. All right, so next I'm gonna get into the cons of living in Whitby because I think it is important, even though there are negative aspects about the city, I do wanna to touch on them and I think it's important to do so because if you are considering a move to Whitby, Ontario, then it would be helpful to know everything about it, the good, the bad, and the ugly, just so that you know what to expect moving forward. But before I get into that, I do want to say that if you liked what you've watched so far and you're getting a lot of value from this video, then please subscribe and like this video, but subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell as well, because then you'll get notified every time I drop a new video as it relates to living and working and having fun in the greater Toronto area. All right, let's go. So now I wanna to talk to you guys about the cons of living in Whitby, Ontario. The first con that you guys need to know about are high property taxes. In fact, Whitby actually has one of the top five property taxes in all of Ontario. So sitting at 1.12%, so that was a property tax rate in Whitby in 2021, 1.12%, that's compared to 0.6% in the city of Toronto. So pretty much double what you would pay for the same home in Toronto. But there is a trade-off there because if you are purchasing, you know, apples for apples, the same home in Toronto, you're gonna spend a lot more on the price of that home. But it compensates because 
even though poems in Wifi are a lot more affordable, you are paying that significantly higher property tax. So again, while this may not be a factor that'll make or break your decision to move to Whitby, it is something that is important to consider. With that said, your best plan of action is to actually speak with a mortgage broker so that what they can do is actually they'll take a look at your budget and what they can do is lump sum your monthly mortgage payments, so your monthly mortgage payments, your insurance, and your property taxes into one payment so that you know what to expect, you know how much is coming out of your account every month, and you can budget accordingly. Okay, so the second con about living in Whitby is that there isn't a lot of ethnic diversity. So the population are primarily white, English-speaking residents, but you do have, so statistically 17%, it's kind of a low number, but 17% of Whitby residents are a visible minority. And so while it may, you know, it may not be a con to everyone, but if you are looking for ethnic diversity, then Whitby, you might find lacking in that department. However, and this is a big however, regardless of your race, your ethnicity, whatever the case is, Whitby does aim to make all of its residents feel welcome. So if you plan on calling Whitby home, rest assured that no matter what your background is, you will feel safe, you will feel secure and included, and you will feel welcome to Whitby. So that sort of correlates with my third con of living in Whitby is that because there isn't a huge diversity in ethnicity, you aren't getting a lot of ethnic food options either. So con number three is lack in food diversity. So, I mean, there are a lot of great restaurants. Um, I'm not putting Whitby down as a foodie city at all, but if you are a foodie like me, then you might find yourself a little disappointed in the lack of food options available to you. So there are a lot of great restaurants, dining, cuisines to choose from, but it isn't that diverse. You know, the odd Italian restaurants here and there, Chinese restaurants here and there, you know, the more popular cuisines, but in terms of diversity and other cultures, and exploring their cuisines, you aren't gonna get a lot of those options in Wiki. So what a lot of residents are doing who are looking for more diversity, they're actually traveling outside of Whitby, so to neighboring areas like Oshawa, um, which is right next door to Whitby, or even a little further west out to Pickering or even Scarborough. It is a bit of a commute, which is why this is a con, but there are other options available within a good like 15 kilometer radius that you can go to so that you can explore those different cuisines and suit your taste buds. So there you have it. Those are your three cons of living in Whitby. And truth be told, they aren't really that bad. And if you agree and you're considering moving to Whitby, then I would love for you to give me a call. I can tell you everything that you need to know about moving to Whitby. So give me a shout, I would love to hear from you. And like I said before, if you found value from this video so far, then like this video, subscribe to my channel. I drop new videos helping buyers, sellers, and investors every single week. If you're looking for more information about what it's like to live anywhere in the greater Toronto area, and you wanna make a move to the GTA, then give me a shout, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and I will see you at my next video.